Peter Peter Jackson and and his partner Fran Walsh they they they'd seen some AR demos of some some new hardware and were really excited about the creative possibilities. Uh, they're amazing storytellers, and uh, they wanted to take their experience and their skills and, and take them into this new medium. So for the past year, we've been uh, ex doing a bit of an R&D phase where we've been kind of exploring what is interesting in AR because traditional storytelling and traditional entertainment concepts, and there's a lot of rules around camera work and everything else, and they don't necessarily work in AR. So we've been exploring that with Pierre and uh, and figuring out what's fun and what's entertaining. And we tried to tell a little story, it's only like a minute 30 long, but we wanted to make something cinematic with lots of actual characters and we had actors act out the piece, the places on the table and we did motion capture and we flew the ships around. We're kind of waiting for AR to, to become a little more strained the mainstream. We're working with a lot of technology that's not released to the public yet, and that's pretty exciting. And as that comes out, we'll learn more of a vocabulary as we start seeing more spaces. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I think it's an amazing IP. I think there's there's so many opportunities with that. I think uh, people would probably love that experience. I don't know when we'll see things in people's living room. I think uh, we're it, it's 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 hard to judge how fast the rollout of VR is going to be. But I think we all know it's coming. And uh, and and whether it's phone based or glasses based, as, as over the next couple of years, I think it'll just ramp up so fast.